And we're bringing you Busy Littles from Donald Henry Recreation District. Uh, also brought to you through Healthy Child. So the point of our uh, Busy Littles is to keep your littles busy for roughly about 20 minutes. And at the end of our sessions, we give you a quick little um, activity that you can do following the program and it's just using things that you would have around your home to do maybe something that you don't do all the time so we are going to start oh mckenna how old are you eight eight and um so you can do these classes with really anybody who any child who's willing to listen my five-year-old loves them we often do them with um really littles up to preschool age but school agers can do them too so we are going to start with our warm up because we want to be moving. Moving. That is the whole point is to be moving and maybe give adults some time to do something. What should we start with warm up for? How do you want to start? How about? Hi. Um reach down low and touch our toes and reach up high and touch the sky. Then reach down low and touch your toes and and reach up high and touch the sky. Reach down low and touch our toes. And reach up high and touch the sky. I know, hold on. Do you think we could go faster? Yeah. Like super, let's yeah. go on just fast. And then we'll try super mega fast after. You guys ready? So hands up to the sky. Sky, toes, sky, toes, sky, toes, sky, toes, sky, toes, sky, toes. Oh. So mega fast. Let's try. We're going to try with our arms. Ready? Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Why don't we try it with our legs this time? Let's try that like super slow mo. Open, close. Open. Close. What's the opposite of super slow? Super fast. Super fast? Do you want to try it super fast? Yeah. Okay, ready? Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Close. All right, we're going to try with our feet tight and our arms open. We're going to spin like this, but our feet stay still. So we're like trees blowing in the wind. Our legs are staying still. Yep, you can go like this. As long as those arms are moving and your legs are staying still. Should we try it with our legs moving? Yeah. Okay, let's go all around our space, wherever you are. Can I'm coming behind you. All sorts of, whoa! Spins and back, back to your spot. Can I come back? You wanna try with our legs, you yeah. see? Okay, let's put our legs nice and tight. Ready? Yeah. Now, now what? Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Let's go, let's do it again, but this time let's do it medium. Medium, okay, ready? Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Open, close. Whoa. Should we try? Now let's do it super duper duper fast. Okay, ready? Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, oh, oh, close, close. All right, let's try running. Only we're going to pretend we have an imaginary spot all around our feet. So we're up. Oh, we're not going to actually run. We're just going to stay right here. Let's just run with our arms. Ready? We're kind of like we're punching. Now let's try with our feet too. We're gonna run with our feet, but staying in the same spot. Ready? And go slow, super slow. And super fast, super fast. And slow. McKenna, back up please. Slow and fast. <laughs> and freeze. And we are going to try a quick, actually, we're not going to try a quick game of this. We're going to try a quick song. It's about our body parts. So let's see if we know our body parts that the song's about. 
head, put your hands on your head, hands on your shoulders, hands on your knees, knees and, toes. and toes, and eyes, and ears, and no. mouth, and nose. Do you know a song? Uh -huh. What is it? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, head and shoulders. So we're going to start out just singing the song normally. Are we ready? Let's put our hands on our head. head. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes. This is where it changes. Eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Do you think we can go super slow? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's try hands on our head. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes. This is where it changes. Eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. We went super slow. We went medium. Let's go super fast. Super fast. You guys want to try super fast? Okay, let's try it. Hands on our head. head. Ready? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. But McKenna, I want you to stay still to do it so our friends can see where we're pointing. Okay, so let's try super mega fast. And if you just end up going like this, that's okay because you're still moving and looking silly. Are we ready? Hands on your head. And we're going to take a deep breath because we're going to go so fast. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Eye, eye. Oh my gosh, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Oh, let's do I that. I forgot again. what it was. That was so silly. One more time? Yeah. You guys want to try one last time super fast? Yeah. All right. Super fast or super slow? Super fast. Fast, okay, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and... Nose. Nose, all right, okay. <laughs> now we have another song about a pony. I don't know if you know this one, but we're gonna try it out, ready? I have a little mm -hmm. pony, so let's get on our pony. I feed her oats and hay. I open up the barnyard door and let her out to play. So what do, what do ponies do? Gallop. She gallops here, she gallops there, she gallop gallops everywhere. Back up. Until we say keep galloping, keep galloping. Whoa, pony. Let's try again. Ready? I have a little pony. Oops, sorry, step on your foot. We feed her oats and hay. We open up the barnyard door and let her out to play. She gallops here, she gallops there, she gallop gallops everywhere until you say, keep galloping, keep galloping, gallop, until we say, whoa, pony. Whew, that was a good one. Oops, should we play a quick game? Yeah. Okay, we're going to play a game with colors. So, we are going to start, I'm going to show you what colors we're going to use. This color is red. red. That's right, this one's red. So if I ask you to get something red, I'm going to hold this one up, and this is the one that I want you to go grab. What other color do we have? Yellow. Yellow, so if I ask you to get something, yellow i want you to go find something that's this color how can you tell my kids love lego what color is this one blue blue so if i ask you to go get blue i want you to go find me something that looks like this and our last one is my favorite one green green so i am going to say red or yellow or or blue, blue or green or green and i want you to go run and find something that's close to you and bring it back and put it right back in front of the phone 
or the iPad or computer or whatever you're watching us on. I want you to just leave it on the ground in front of you. If you want to pause, then you go ask your adult to pause it and you go find your things and bring them back. But I want you to go as fast as you can. Are we ready? Yeah. How, how many things are there? There's one. Whoops. One, two, two three, three, four. And then I have a secret one at the end, but we'll have to wait and see. So I want you, McKenna's going to be my runner. I want you to go find something that is yellow. Yellow. Go run. Go find something that's yellow. Run. It can be. Run. We're in our basement, so McKenna's going to find something in our basement. But if you're in your room, you can find something in your room. Or, oh, some of my friends already came back with yellow things. Did anybody bring a banana? A banana's yellow. McKenna, find something quickly, please. McKenna, find something, or I'm going to find something for you. And it's a shape. Okay. A star shape. McKenna brought something back from a puzzle piece. It has the number, let's see, can you see that? The number 12, 12. is on it. And it's shaped like a star. So we have yellow and yellow. It could be something big or small, whatever you want. McKenna, I'm going to ask you to go a pinch faster next time. Do you guys think you can go faster at home too? Let's oh, try. Oh, on the challenge. We're going to try my favorite one. I want you to go run. Oh, 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 oh. Go run and find me something green and bring it back to the video. Go, Kenna. Go find something that is green. What is green? Leaves are green or grass is green. Clothes can be green. Eyes can be green. But well, you can't bring your eyes. You can't bring your eyes. That's true. Found me something green. See, these two greens are different. Just wait. Are different kinds of green, but they're both still green. And this one has the number 11 on it. Okay, McKenna, back up, please. So green and green. This time, I'm going to challenge McKenna not to find a puzzle piece. I want you to find me something that's not a puzzle piece. Okay. This time, I'm going to ask you to find me something red. red. Okay, go. Go find me something red. I wonder if you paused me or if you just ran to go find something. Something red. Find something red. What's red? An apple is red. Um, Lego pieces are red. A Lego bucket is red. We have a book that's got some red on it. And that's just me sitting right here. McKenna needs to find something red quickly because our some of our friends are already back and waiting. McKenna, find something red, please. Or I'm going to get up and find something red and skip you. Oh, yeah. Let's see what McKenna found. Oh, of course, it's Lego. I don't even know what this is, a Lego creepy looking guy. All right, so we found red and red. So we found our yellow, our red, red our green. Mm -hmm. Now McKenna, when I say I want you to find it quickly, I want you to actually go quickly, please. Mm -hmm. What color is this one again? Blue. Blue, I want you to go find, go, go find me something blue. Anything blue, the sky is blue, but you can't bring me the sky. Eyes are blue. Um, sometimes furniture can be blue. A t-shirt can be blue. I'm not wearing blue. My activity for the end happens to be blue. Sometimes water can look blue. McKenna, I'm going to miss you again. Okay. Back to material. McKenna found some floss. I never said a walk to bring me. That's a little silly, but we found some floss. So we have some blue floss, a green puzzle piece, a red Lego piece, and a yellow puzzle star. Now I want you to go find me, listen close, our ear, listening ears on, something that is, oh, just wait, nobody moves, something that is pink or purple or brown or what other color didn't we use or gray i really love gray so brown or gray 
or purple or pink. Go find me something. Easy. Anything. Whoa. <laughs> my cat nap found me something from, oh, look at all my friends bringing things back. My cat nap found <laughs> a gray piece from our couch. And if I was going to bring something back, <laughs> I had a pink book right it here. It is nice and comfy. Get out. Now we found, <laughs> what color is this one? Yellow. Yellow. We found red. We found green. We found blue. blue. McKenna found no. gray. And I see some of my friends found gray or brown. Oh, I see a teddy bear there. Or pink or purple. And so now we have a big pile of stuff. Let's move that pile of stuff over to the side. We are going to read our action book. McKenna, I'm going to need you to slide that out of the way. So our action book is when I read you guys a book and McKenna is our mover and she does all the actions. And I want you guys to try to do the actions too. This book is called Hello Toes. Hello Feet. Show me your toes and your feet. Show me both toes and feet. All at the same time, toes and feet. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Good morning, toes. Good morning, feet tangled up between my sheets. I want to see everybody's toes and feet. Toes and feet, wave them in the air. Kenna, sit on your bum. Wave them in the air. Wave them in the air. There we go. Back. Be the first to touch the floor. Put your toes and feet on the floor. Hop me to the closet door. Go hop that way. Hop, hop, hop. Let me see you hop. Hop like a bunny. I've got socks. I've got shoes. Let me put them on for you. So let's use our imagination. Let's put our shoes on. Oh, actually, we need socks first. Socks on. Shoes on and tie them up. Socks. McKenna, please pay attention. Shoes. All right. Those are some crazy shoes. I like those alligator shoes right and there. I like those ones and those ones and those ones and those ones. You like all the shoes. Yeah. Okay. Clomp down the hall. Clomp down the stairs. Clomp, clomp. Clomping is kind of like stomping. Keep going, Kenna. To the kitchen, to my chair. Kick the table while I eat. Don't, don't do that, please. <clears throat> Go outside, try to leap across the walks. Skip side to side, leap the way quick down the slide. So skip and slide, Kenna. I'm swinging now, point up high. See if you can touch the sky. Let's see if our toes, your toes. Can your toes touch the sky? Close, close. We're inside, so it's hard, but Hello toes, hello feet, jump rock to rock across the creek. Let's go jumping. Jump, 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 jump. Rush me home to get me lunch. Stamp my juice can, make it crunch. Stamp it on the ground. Be cat's paws that pad the ground. Creeping, shh, don't make a sound. Kind of creeping so quietly. Or McKenna's like a cat. Tiger. Be horse's hooves. Come on, let's trot. Oh, what's that? Whoa! Stop. Just like our song we did. You even sound like a pony. Horse. Oh, horse. Yeah, sorry. Now march me over to the tree. Shuffle through the pile of leaves. Kenna, pretend like you're kicking them up like this. Oh, I'm throwing them. I'll slip off your socks and shoes, squish into the muddy ooze. Let's take our pretend, or you can do it for real if you want. I'm going to pretend to take mine off. Can I do it for real? I go squish through the mud. Squish, 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 squish. It, it's what I look like. I do the more. Okay. Spin me slow. Can you spin slow? Spin me fast. Stomp and make the puddle splash. Wiggle lots, seep dig deep down. I'll hose you off. It's time to eat. Can I go over there? I'll pretend to hose you off. Ready? 
She loves the water. Be first to touch my bath. Let's show just one foot in the bath. Ooh, it's nice and warm. And last to dry, Dr pretend to dry your body off. Come over here, dry your body off. And after that, snuggle in, in between my sheets. Kenny, we can't see you over there. Good night toes, good night feet. That is the end. Ken has really taken this to heart here. All right, so for our last little activity, we have, this is for something that you can do either right now if you're adults already or some, some time later. So we have just some, this came from mushrooms from Costco. We have an uh, empty basil container, uh, empty vitamin container, and this was from a cake. Kenna, please come back here. And this was just from a cake. And then what I let my kids do is choose a few um, things from the drawer that I'll wash later that we still use. So we have measuring spoons. Ooh, what is that? A garlic press, I think, that's got Play-Doh in it because that's what we do with this stuff. So my kids really like to take empty containers and play with them. Sometimes they play store, or sometimes, as you can see, kick in a stop, they play with Play-Doh with these things. Garbage? Sure, garbage, please. But a really good, especially for little ones, if um, you have like this one's just a vitamin D jar that's empty, it's really good for motor skills to be opening and closing. Opening, closing, McKenna, I just need you to back up, please. Or twisting, you have to twist the lid off. And depends how long you want the activities to go. So opening, closing, even for um, older kids that like need practice with things, say at lunch at school, it's a good thing that they need to be opening and closing these things on their own. And sometimes I find when it's something that they're not usually allowed to play with, it's fun to play with because it's empty and they get to use it. So what do you guys like to do with this? You guys like to play store? And we like to crush the Play-Doh in here and make noodles. Yep, play Play-Doh. Or sometimes my five-year-old really likes to bake with these things. So he'll just use his imagination and bake with them. If you want to get really creative, you can do um, like little sensory things like rice or popcorn things. Just anything so they can use the spoons and spoon them from one container to the next. It sounds very basic. But lots of stuff for kids is. It's You can just use it as a learning thing. And the more you want to add to the activity, so it, you can say, I want you to put five red things in here. And it can be like, say, little pieces of Lego that could fit in as here. As long as they don't, as long as they're big, old enough to not swallow them. Or you can Good make idea. Big pieces of Lego. So one, two, let's see if I can even find three. Four, five. So now they have five. So you can say now you need three blue to make something. So that, and then they can jingle it. It can be a musical thing. Just um, you know, learning um, teachable moments with things that you're not going to use. And this happens to be our garbage night, so it's the ideal time to get rid of it and then have new stuff for next week. Whatever works. Sometimes that's all. It is. It's just about finding things that keep the the littles busy so that you have time to say full laundry, make supper, any of the above. So thanks for joining us today at Busy Littles. We will be coming to you. Hopefully you can watch us next week. Watch us over and over if you like. And Bye. We had fun. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya.